In my opinion, sheepshead are one of the underutilized fish that you can catch in the Great Lakes area. They grow to good size, they're very plentiful, there's no close season, and in most areas there aren't any limits on them. So you can actually keep as many as you want for eating. You can get them on bait, you can get them on artificial lures, so they're really a wonderful fish, and you know what? they fight pretty good. So what I've done here, I've taken this uh, fish and put it on this nice cleaning board. By the way, if you like to clean fish for eating and you don't like to mess up your boat, um, this is a really nice rig because this cl fish cleaning board comes on a post that actually fish, uh, fits right into your rod holder. And it can even pivot, I can move it in and out. So what I've got here, I've got it overhanging the water so that if there is some blood when I'm cleaning this fish, it won't get onto the carpet of the boat. And then I can rinse the fish off, put it in bags or put it back in the live well so that I can transport it to go home. Now a sheep's head is cleaned like pretty well all other fish. So what I'm gonna do is take a fillet off it so my first cut is going to be just going towards the front of the head. Then I'm going to slide the knife in and I'm going to run right along the vertebrae and I'm going to run all the way back to the tail. Now their meat, the meat of a sheep's head is actually very different than most other freshwater fish. Whether they're uh, warm water like your walleye, pike, bass or uh, cold water like your salmon and trout. Their meat is very firm, so it's got a very nice texture that I t tell people is more like seafood than actual fish. So what I'm doing here is going along the vertebrae, and as I said earlier, most of the meat is up from about the uh, rib cage to the back of the fish. So I'm just going to take the fillet and I'm going to rinse it off so I can show you how nice and firm it is. I'll just go to my big sink that's here. Okay. So here's my nice piece of fish fillet, and you can see that it looks like it's a firmer meat, almost like seafood. It actually reminds me of some of the fillet that you get off of some of the saltwater fish. So you can take your fish fillet, cut it into small fingers, and deep fry it. And what I like to do is to dip the fish in egg and then into your favorite coating. I personally like fish crisp, and then deep fry it. Or you can grill it or do it on the barbecue. But it is a wonderful meat, and literally this piece of meat has no bones in it.